Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I explained the complete roadmap to learn JavaScript. In this video, I'll be guiding you on how to become a full stack developer. So first of all, to become a full stack developer, you must have the knowledge of backend, frontend and databases. So first of all, since you have covered JavaScript and now comfortable to learn the backend and frontend front-end frameworks. So my suggestion would be that you should start with Node.js and Express. So where should you learn Node.js from? So first of all, you can check out this playlist from Traversy Media, which is Node.js and Express from scratch. This series consists of 12 videos and should be covered in around two to three hours. So first of all, you should watch this series. This will give you a basic understanding of Node.js and Express. Although it might happen that you won't understand everything. So hold on, have patience. After you have watched this playlist, now you can move to another playlist of Traversy Media, which is Node.js videos. In this playlist, the first very first video is the Node.js crash course. Watch this crash course video. This is around one and a half hours long video and this would cover the basics as well. So now after doing the previous playlist and this crash course, you are equipped with the basics of Node.js, right? So now let's move on to uh, one more thing. So since we are done with the basics of Node.js, now we should also do the basics of MongoDB. For databases, we'll be using MongoDB, which is a NoSQL database and which goes well with like Mern stack development. And most people use this, although you can also use MySQL if you want, but I would suggest you to go with MongoDB. So MongoDB crash course, this is a half an hour video and you can do it quickly. So you'll just get the basic understanding of MongoDB as well. So now, since we are done with the basics of Node.js and MongoDB, the main time is to cover the important parts of Node.js. So for this, there's this very good course, the complete Node.js developer course. This course is by Andrew Mead. And as you can see, so many ratings and so many students have already taken this course and it has a rating of 4.7 star and is also tagged one of the best sellers in this category. So you can understand how good this course is. So let's move on to see what all we'll learn in this course. For your information, this is not any promotional video. I'm sharing this because even I had learned from the same course and I found it really, really helpful. That's why I'm sharing it with you. Oh, okay. So let's move on to what we shall learn. So during these eight chapters, we'll get to know about Node.js, about Node Package, package Manager, Asynchronous Programming, ES6 features of JavaScript. And again, see, you will be covering MongoDB, Express.js, socket.io, JWT authentication. So this is very important for the sign in login part. So we need to perform authentication. Then you learn about mongoose and then file and image uploads, how image and files are uploaded on websites. You'll get the understanding of these. Then how to send emails using Node.js and how to host an application on Heroku. And you'll also get the basic understanding of Git and GitHub in this course and API design. This is also very important. Apart from this, you'll also get the idea of testing your codes and debugging with the help of Jest. So, the, so it covers almost everything you need to know about Node.js. Now you must be wondering that, uh, okay, these are the, but so many lectures, won't it be too boring? No, don't worry because you will learn these things along with making projects side by side. So as you can see here, you will be building four projects and this is the best part. So first of all, you will be uh, making a note taking app, which will be, which will be based on Node.js. And second one is a weather application that interacts with certain APIs. So you will also understand how APIs work and how the server 
uh, fetches data from the API. Then you'll uh, build a task manager REST API with complete user accounts and authentication. So see, your knowledge of authentication will be tested here and you'll also get to work with database since you will be creating user accounts in this project. Next, we'll have a real-time chat app with a client-side companion. So it's a really good thing that you'll build a real-time chat app. You'll send a message, you can see it immediately reflect on the other side. So yes, you'll be building four projects and these are good projects and it will like escalate your learning very quickly. So you will learn a lot from this course and to be honest, even I had done this course and it was really helpful for me. So you'll get, you'll cover almost everything which is required for Node.js in this course. And you'll, at the end of this course, you'll have four projects in your pocket. So yeah, although I'll recommend you to buy this course, but I have heard from a few others that these courses are also available for free on other websites. Although I won't recommend you that you can buy it. It's very cheap. And again, this is not any promotional video for this course. So let's move to the next. So after this point, you'll be, uh, so why I said to do the uh, Node.js and MongoDB basics from Traversy Media and why not this directly? Because as you can see, the very second uh, lecture over here is for Node's app. So he doesn't give the a lot of basic information. So it will be good if you cover the basics of Node.js and MongoDB from somewhere else, as I mentioned, Traversy Media. And after the basics, you come to this course and you start building projects along with your learning. And then you'll completely relate things and understand properly. So here, till here, we are done with the backend thing and the database thing. So now with the knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js and MongoDB. We can build a full stack project at this point of time. But wait, are we missing something? Yes, we are. Because we can, we should also learn front-end frameworks as you must have heard like AngularJS, Vue.js, React.js. There are so many front-end frameworks and it's really difficult for one to choose, which one to choose. Although I'd recommend you to go with React.js you can see their comparisons on various other videos and on Google, but React is something which is really, really amazing and is very popular these days. So yes, now from where to learn React? So for learning React, you should, uh, you can visit this website, which is Scrimba. So this is really good source to learn React.js for free and you'll get the information from the very, very basics. So as you can see over here, he, this course is completely free of cost and you learn JSX props and states, conditional rendering, functional components, handling events, class components. All those, the, although these things might not make sense to you at this moment, but trust me, once you cover this course, the fundamentals will be really, really strong. So see, there are so many lectures, around 59 lectures in total of various durations. And once you cover this, you'll have the basic understanding of React.js. Now coming to, uh, so one thing is that you'll find the lack of building projects. So, uh, okay, before moving to that, uh, I should also mention here that this course contains 15 interactive screencasts. So, this is the best thing about this platform uh, is that at any point of time inside the video, you can pause it and you can change the code on the screen. The, isn't it something really amazing? You can change the code inside the screen. You can make changes. You can run the code. And then once you play the video again, it will come back to its original state. So this is one of the best features because you should play with play around with your code while learning things. Now coming to React projects. So for doing projects, you should start with small mini projects. So for that, you will find a playlist in Traversy Media channel with the name of React projects. So in this uh, playlist, you will find many mini projects. Yeah, just a minute. So in this playlist, uh, you will find many 
mini projects like uh, expense tracker, multi-step form, Facebook login button in React, how to create authentication with React. The earlier one was the backend authentication. This is with React. React file uploader with Express. So infinite scroll challenge. So pagination, the way how to do pagination like page one, two, three, and so on. Now, so there are various other things you can try and play around. Lyric search app with React. So how can you build a search app? So these are the good things. Build a photo gallery with React. Build Hangman with React. The real-time chat app with the help of React. So you can build a portfolio website with React. So, so many, 33 videos and you can build so many mini projects. And what, how will it help you is that uh, you can relate the concepts which you have studied in the Scrimba playlist with these projects and you'll gain confidence along with it. And side by side, you'll also be getting so many mini projects. Don't forget that after every project, you make sure to push it on GitHub so that you your portfolio keeps on building along with your learning. Now, if you feel that yes, uh, these mini projects won't work and like I'm still not comfortable with React and Node.js after the things which you have suggested. So I have something really amazing for you. So the next thing is front end masters. So this website is basically contains basically paid courses, but there's a trick by which you can get complete free access for six months. So I'll be telling the trick at the end of this video, but meanwhile, I'll share you what all you can learn from here. So once you go on the learn tab, you can find that there are various learning paths already created for you. If you are a beginner, whether you are a professional or already an expert, you can choose any track from here and they'll have four to five courses guiding you from your, depending upon whether you are a beginner or professional. So if you are already a beginner and let's say if you click on start, so you can see that the very first is complete intro to web development, then getting started with JavaScript, Kyle Simpson. You must be knowing him. He's the author of you don't know JavaScript. So the way he teaches, the way these teachers are simply amazing. CSS, JavaScript fundamentals. So accordingly, they have made like courses for different levels. So depending upon your uh, proficiency, you can go ahead. Now, if you scroll below, there are also tracks for full stack and design to code. Let's check out the full stack track. So if I check on full stack, so see for front end engineers, then Linux and command line, then we have Node.js. So you can do this Node.js course here. Uh, you might be wondering that why is it written get full access, watch free preview? Because I have already used my six months free access and I have covered lots of courses here. So, okay. Coming API design in Node.js. These are really, really important things that how, how you should design API in Node.js. Introduction, AWS for front end engineers containers these things are optional but as a full stack you should also be having some knowledge of cloud computing as well but regarding this node.js you should be definitely doing it okay now uh, let's see say that you don't want to follow these tracks and you want individual courses for a particular technology so we have topic paths as well let's say you want to learn javascript or css or node.js see you have everything here, React, Vue, Angular. Isn't it so amazing? And let's say we want to learn React.js. So we click on React and you'll find very good courses over here. Complete intro to React. So they'll teach from the very basics. Then for intermediate people, then how state management in React. So these are the things and you can opt for as many courses and completely free of cost with the trick which I'll be sharing with you. Frameworks, if you want to learn Vue, Angular, anything for front end, you can go with it. It's your choice completely. Uh, so yeah, these are the amazing things you can, which you can get for free. Now coming to the point that what should I do in order to get the free access? So first of all, you need to be a student and 
for and after and you need to get a github account in the github you have a special feature known as github student developer pack so with the help of github student developer pack you get free access to many other things along with front end masters front end masters is one of the things which you will get for free so once you activate your github student developer pack with the help of your student id card or your uh, college email institute email id so it will be granted like within 2 to 3 days and you will have the full access to front end masters for the next 6 months so this was the trick which you all have been waiting for and even let's say if you won't cover uh, like if you if your 6 months gets over you can create another github account and get student id another student id from your friend who is not into development and then get another 6 months for free so yeah you can use this thing to like extend your period of free access so this was all i have covered everything from node js mongo db react and everything from mini projects to mega projects now at this point you have the knowledge of front end and back end frameworks and the knowledge of databases as well and now you can call yourself a full stack developer congratulations from now onwards now you need to participate in various hackathons build team projects build good team projects those are really important because you might have seen that i have uh, introduced you to the small mini projects but make, making full stack projects along with mixing react and node js together integrating them together that is the most important thing which many people find it difficult they they either learn react or either they learn node js but when they are asked to integrate both together to make it a full stack project it becomes really difficult so for that also you will get various videos on youtube free code camp channel and various other blogs so you can find and you you just you need to search mon stack projects full stack projects and you will get the project ideas for that and build build along uh, with your friends build alone whatever you like and also make sure you keep pushing it on github that would be really helpful to build your projects portfolio so i think i have covered everything i'll attach all the resources in the description below and hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it do like this video comment on the video and if you want any specific topics to be covered in my next video do let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much